so I'm still the king of wing, hence the reason we outran the hurricane. I was like, I'll just figure it out. So I still got that going, but when it comes to boat maintenance, I am no longer winging it. Matter of fact, this is a small sample of the um, $3,000 worth of extra supplies that I bought before I left because I had so many problems with this boat at first that nothing would work and I didn't have any of the parts. So I bought, I have 12 fuel filters and oil filters and belts and just anything you can think of to keep this thing running. Because what I didn't want to have happen was a breakdown while in the Bahamas when the next hurricane's coming this way. So I've only got like four or five more weeks before I don't have to worry about it. But that's the only thing I was really worried about. I'm fine being broke down here, not in hurricane season, but in the hurricane season, no go. So I'm legitimately like gonna be maybe a boat maintenance guy when I come back. So, cause all I do is work on this thing, so. Because we were not prepared for an overnight passage, our boat was absolutely thrashed by the time we reached the Berry Islands. After a much needed nap, we worked together to get this entire boat clean. We also decided it was a great time to do some reorganizing. We cleaned the floorboards, cleaned out bins, and reorganized a lot of the food. I made a delicious potato soup with cornbread for lunch, and all of us were obviously super happy. We're in Great Harbor Cay Marina. This is where they play. We've been here for a day now, so it was a we did the crossing, got away from the hurricane. The hurricane hit yesterday, so we just got some remnants today, which you can kind of see behind me there. See those clouds over this there? Is like, this is where That's the kind of outer band of the hurricane. So, so our crossing took us um, just 27 hours. So about twice as long as we hoped. And we had really bad weather and a headwind the whole way. And it really just turned out to be crappy um, the whole time. Yeah, we're glad to get away from the hurricane. We wish we'd have left a day earlier. Hindsight. Oh, there's the other and kitty. We now know for next time. We had a bunch of things go wrong on the way, which we'll talk about later. But uh, the good news is we're here, we're safe, and we've got palm trees and warm weather. A little bit of wind, like 25 to 30 mile an hour winds. Uh, I have to see the palm trees when we out left. here. 35 at kind of top. Bike rentals here, so. We're gonna go take the bikes out and go check out this little town and see what it's all about. Bicycle race. Yeah. Oh Woo! Off. <laughs> it's one off. Guys, we made it. She's wearing a thong today. All right, we're at Shark Creek Beach. All by ourselves. The girls in the back with Carver. Boys are up here diving on sharks. I don't know what they're doing. Always looking for something. Can't keep up with them, which is perfect. Exactly what I want. It makes it a little tougher, doesn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Beautiful little beach. Perfect white sand. Yeah, I found a crab when I went. You did? Like this and a crab came up, so. Nice. Shoot 
ready. Good. After leaving the beach, we decided to continue exploring this adorable island. We stopped off at a tiny little grocery store where we grabbed a snack. On our way back, we found a massive abandoned golf clubhouse. All right, we're on a bike ride. We just went by Hugh, Hugh Boo's, which is a restaurant. We're going to the grocery store. Right here. Right here, the grocery store. That was the longest bike ride of my life. <laughs> I get a treat also. Right? Mm. Oh, I have to get That was a pretty long ride. It was maybe uh, 100 yards. Are you guys okay? Everybody worn out? Mm -hmm. Need a drink? What do we need? Oh, yeah. All right. Put my hat. How do you? There we go. Well, let's go. All right, here we go. Into the grocery store. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. This is the clubhouse for the golf course. Leaks. It leaks. Yeah. Like What's that? That's creepy. creepy. Yeah. This is big. So it's like no hits. Let's walk down here first and see what's down here, Carter. I don't know what the most recent hurricane was that hit this island, but it definitely did a number on this place. Although, it might have been a long time ago. Continue our tour. It's in pretty rough shape. But it's very expansive and it's. I mean, this is big. Yeah. You got this. Here we go. Thank you, boys. We're so close to just smashing my ear. I'm sorry. The sunset was absolutely gorgeous on this night. We took some pictures as a family and then proceeded to watch the boys fish and find a little something extra. But the sharks are trying to eat all of our catch. The, um, I only saw the one and he went right next to my... The things that clean the sharks and stuff? Crap. Look at that. All right, Cam, what'd you get? I got him. <laughs> I got two of his legs. Is he, is he big enough to keep? I, I'd say so. Look at... I bet you could get a lot of meat. Can I touch him? You can try. He actually doesn't have any pinchers, does yeah, he? Yeah, he does at the end. Oh, they're up here. The, yeah, when we found one, he was eating, actually. Oh, yeah, they're little ones. Yeah. See how small they are, though? Although we did a lot of exploring of the island and family time, Steve spent most of his time fixing our boat. Guys, after all those years of checking fire trucks, tilting a cab, wasting time, never finding anything, because I didn't know what I was doing. Not really, but because I could never find anything. I finally was able to see what a fuel filter shouldn't look like. That is what it shouldn't look like. Fuel, not fuel filter, but fuel water separator. That is junk in the bottom of my fuel water separator. That is not water. That is chunks of something disgusting. What in the heck would that be? Starboard side, looks like, really hard to see down there, but there's definitely gunk sitting in the bottom. The problem is it's so bad, it won't actually drain off there, which is, which is problematic. Here's the deal, I've opened that valve at the bottom, but nothing will come out. You can see I'm starting to drop fuel level. So I'm almost out of fuel in the entire filter, but I can't get that stuff to come out. You see, it's pretty, pretty gross down in there. Question is, do you think that that comes off? Every time I turn it full left, it drains a little bit of fuel, but it doesn't pop off. And I was hoping that that might just unscrew all the way so everything would come out. My fear would be I'd turn it too hard, breaks off, and here I sit until that part comes in, so. And there's four bolts that I could take out there, but of course I don't have the O-ring to replace it. And I've tried turning them and that's the only one that will turn. The other ones are pretty soft and you can just feel them stripping out. So I got the right size wrench, but it won't work. Is This is the generator fuel filter pulling from the same tank. So, I don't know if it was just the sloshing around of that gnarly 
uh, journey across the bank while we were running the engine that broke all of that sludge apart or you know you know jolted the tank and and broke everything up um, and we haven't ran our generator since so that could be the reason but it is weird that it's the same fuel and completely two different outcomes they look completely different so So before I, before I change out our filters on our fuel, I'm going to drain the bottom of our fuel tank to see if there's crud in the bottom of it. I don't want to go change out filters and then have a bunch of stuff still in there. So the drawback is, is at the very bottom here, and this is as far as I can reach to get in there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to the bottom of this and actually do it or not. But anyways, all right. So today, the Mechanic Daily, we are changing out a uh, Yanmar 54 horse diesel engine on a Leopard Catamaran fuel filter, which is the Raycor fuel filter, which is this filter right here. And uh, changing out with the 2010 PM dash OR. And let's see down in here. Let me actually see if I can turn this around. Fuel filter is disgusting. We don't know what that is. It won't even drain out the bottom. So we're going to swap that thing out to get it drained and go for it from there. So I just pulled the bowl off the bottom of this Raycord filter and because uh, it wouldn't drain out, as you can see. And there it be. So the closer I look at it, the more it looks like some sort of microbial growth sludge. Um, at first, it looked as if it was some sort of sand. It doesn't show up well there. Got that all cleaned out. It didn't look super clean there, but it's cleaner than it was. And uh, popped these four bolts off, dropped the whole bowl, cleaned it all out. And uh, wiped it out. I also sprayed it the carb cleaner because I didn't know what else to use. And then dropped the new filter in here, put the new O-ring back in, and then uh, tighten this back up. And then came over here secondary filter super simple I just put a Ziploc bag around it I, I loosened it first with a set of gloves because it's kind of slick and then once it's loose put a Ziploc bag around it screwed it off didn't drop any fuel doing it that way put a new one back on so now I know I don't have fuel in the primary or the secondary filter He's going. He's going. Look, stop. Carver, sit back. Wow. Just, little, uh, just a hot dog. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, why are they all here? What is happening? Why do they go so fast? Like imagine doing the turn. Easton's gonna catch a fish. Oh gosh, Easton, don't let him eat your line. <laughs> he would snap his rod. Ooh. I know. Hey, I already hooked the shark. Oh. 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 Come here. Oh. <laughs> Everywhere. Dude, what the heck? I was gonna dive under the boat and shut the prop. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Stop it. I'll wait for a minute. I'm gonna catch it. Until there's a little clearer yeah, water. Caught a yeah, he did. Are they That's cool. cool. What are, are they? Poisonous? They suck on their head. Look, see that on a, they, on the top them. of its head? Oh, yeah. yeah. Put that on Easton. Have a can clean you touch him? I'm not yeah. sure. I think so. I don't know. It looks like a worm. Maybe right there. I'm trying to do dishes. This is going on. Slapping each other with tortillas in the face with a mouthful of water. Here we can't get tortillas pretty much anywhere. So we're gonna use the last couple tortillas for this. Hey, keep breaking. Yeah, wait. Bad camera work, but shoot, that was a great hit. Has found. Oh, it actually is. Watch out because there's snakes. 
E, what in the heck? Why do you gotta do that to us? There is. They do not hear dad's. He said there's natives. Yes. Harvard's beautiful place to take pictures. Okay. Where does it go? Oh, it looks like we need to get shoes to go further, Carver. Yeah, let's go. Mom. That's really cool, though. There's my tank, fuel tank, hot water heater. So I finally got that out. I had to manually drain it forever. There's still water in it, but I got that tube on there so the water's not coming up the top. So now, unfortunately, I dropped a bunch of water in here. I'm trying to do that. But. I got it. Drain off the bottom. I'm on a run right now. Got lost for a hot sack. And no freaking way. Oh my god, I cannot. I will never run again, ever. The hell. Oh, that's a good one, Cam. Yeah, it's like the biggest one. Yeah. Got what, what is it? Remora. It's a remora. This yeah, this thing, it's on the top of its head and they stick on the- Oh, that's like, the top of its head? Stuff like manatees, yeah. Oh wow, I didn't know that. I thought that was the bottom. Wait, yeah, they're super things. cool. So they're created to stick on the bottom? Yeah. Or top of a shark or a manatee, huh? Yep. Any big animal, wow, like whales. Good catch, they, dude. Like yeah, it, they're whales. super easy to catch. They eat everything and they, they poops go, all over my hand. Gross. They go right through to the They're just with the manatees. Huh, well, good catch. That was a big one. That's Can the I biggest one I've seen you catch. We realized Easton was getting an ear infection when he developed a high fever. He managed the pain by diverting the AC air straight to his face with a bin. Smart little dude, if you ask me. Up and down. Genius of the year award, right? It's a bunch of manatee that came up to the surface to say hi. They just be chilling. Are they dangerous at all or what? People already have names for them. Oh, yeah. We haven't named the calf yet, though. Gary. Gary. <laughs> Gary. Oh, he loves your rubs. Oh, Cam. yeah, he's doing, he's rolling he over. Goes. He's rolling Look at the sucker right. fish. There Dang. he goes, rolling over. Oh, this one's like softer. <laughs> he farted again. Carver, really? Yeah. That's what the bubbles are. <laughs> That's what the bubbles are. Oh, oh yeah, rub my, rub my belly. <laughs> Oh, he's got like a scar there. Oh, oh my gosh, that tail. Oh, he's throwing oh. over. Double hands. Double hands. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, give him some oh, love. Fish. I want to grab one. Fish I like that they love it. I know, that's cute. We've got a couple nice days. Yeah. Our little E's got an ear infection today. Darn it. Just got done looking at the manatees. It's gonna be a great day. Doing some laundry. What is happening in there, babe? Well, nothing. It's easy. Just sonar to get to the bottom of the fuel tank. Let's try to drain whatever's in there. Do you want me to get you a bucket? I need to uh, drain this water heater to move it. Mm -hmm. The problem is, there's just tiny little space to get into. Nice. We're on like cup number 100 or something. Yeah. About every five seconds, we just put a new cup. Mm -hmm. It'll slow down. Kim, you're doing a great job. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm wasting so much water. Me too, but all that time making water. And... But there it is. That was a lot of work to do that, <laughs> to get down to here to do that. But it's done. I think. What I would do in the future is probably put a longer hose on that so it can loop around up here and at least I can get into an easier spot. Maybe a different valve um, clamp assembly on the end uh, 
to try to streamline that because that's not a good process. You okay? Just got tired this time? Hurts your back. Yeah, it's just a tough, it's just a tough ride. I get that. What are you doing, bro? Huh? Can I have a pee break? You would have to have a pee break. Yeah, I forgot to go before. Okay. Okay, Carver, hop on and we'll give you a boost and now we're flat. Okay? For the first time in a long time, I missed my 21 speed bicycle. My bike, however, I don't pedal it up because the chain falls off. So you be very careful. Carver, lift up your bike and walk. You got this. Go for it. Right behind the liquor store. We're at the Browns Garden. Stopped in to get some drinks because we were thirsty after a bike ride. And our chef slash server slash entertainer said he'd make us some punk salad. And he said he wanted to come with us. Ceviche. Ceviche. <laughs> so that's like all they have, basically? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you gotta listen. Yeah. Rolling. What do you think, baby? How's the bike ride? Nice. Now that we're away from our 
be sitting up all proper like a bicycle goddess. <laughs> it's hot. It's the color. Oh, Change. up the chain. You got it, Cam. I got it. So, Cammy spotted a tarantula on her run. Oh, there, he there he is. That one's dead. How did it just die? What Remember kills when you tarantula? stomped it with your foot? No way, man. Why yeah. would he just be dead, though? I mean, I'm not. No way, here. that is the same one that was right here. Yeah, how do you know? That one looks smaller. Or they just hang out right here? Why would it be dead? Do you think people come Well, they fall from the trees. Shut up. <laughs> and Pyro, last night at Great Harvest, no, Great... Whatever, uh, I don't even know the name of this place. That was Great Harvest K Arena. I will! You coming, baby? Probably like ticks. Ticks? You know ticks in the Bahamas? Spiders. Hell. Ever since she saw the spider, she's just never been the same. Oh, would you be the same? No, that's sketchy. It's date night. We took a little walk. Look what we found. She didn't find me. No. I was with her. I found a view. a view. You found a view. Took me a while to go through the weeds because of the tarantula, but yeah. we're here. Yeah, we so hair. pretty. Shut up! You're just gonna drag your thighs <laughs> through this stuff. The tarantulas aren't hanging on the, the jump. Trees. The tarantulas are jumping from the trees. <laughs> Almost there, babe. Stop huffing and puffing. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> This is that time when the mosquito abatement truck drove by us on the islands, spraying probably just perfume, but maybe something that will kill us. We're not sure. Oh man, my sister would have lost her. I wish you were here, Angie. This is your hell, your personal hell. All right, so just leaving Great Harbor Key Marina. I'm gonna head over to Great Harbor K fuel dock and go fuel up. Um, so we have lots of fuel. I hear it's good here. And then we'll head over uh, kind of just to the north side of the Berry Island chain here, uh, in between the two islands that are owned by the cruise ships. There should be what is normally a protected harbor, but the winds today, it might not be. But we're gonna go check it out, see what it's all about. And uh, yeah, it should be good. So. Here we go to get some fuel. Best fuel service a man can get right there. Ow, ow! Look at the way she pumps fuel. Yes, it's just spewing out at you. Upon fueling up, we made the discovery that the air bleeder was clogged, which meant we had to hold the gas just right, otherwise too much would go in and it would spit up into our face. We also thought our transfer switch was broken. Turns out, you just have to turn it on. After filling up our boat on both sides, it really did a number on our back. But it was all worth the time spent when a boat full of awesome people pulled up and handed us a bag full of lobster tails for our journey and our dinner that night. Join us next week as we continue sailing the Bahamas.